$50 on chocolate. Not all for me, but yeah, mostly for me. My theory was less but better. So better quality chocolate, um, more satisfying, and therefore I would eat less, or so I have decided to try to tell myself or justify to myself. Um, so I got the Hague's Freckles. Um, I know they're probably for children, but I love them. And then the Hague's Chocolate Berry Balls, which are seriously delicious. But my theory of eating less, um, considering how empty these bags are, isn't really proving to be very clever. I shared with you guys that my grocery bill was getting out of hand. Um, a lot of my savings from typical February has been eating into my new grocery bill and I'm going backwards and forwards to the supermarket numerous times a week. It is simply not efficient. But rather than complain, I'm focusing on solutions. And these are the things I wanna share with you right now. First of all, I have signed up to Cash Rewards. Now this is a fantastic website where you can, you, if you shop through Cash Rewards, you essentially get commission on your own shopping. So I'm using this not just for my grocery shopping online, but I'm, there's a whole range of other stores such as um, Myers, Coles, even some energy providers, um, some um, holiday booking websites, um, even in, like Matches and Netta Porter. So you actually get money back and this can really add up. I can see that I've already got back over $17 just since signing up. Now, as I said, it's completely free to sign up, but I highly recommend downloading the app for your phone so you can shop off your phone. But more importantly, make sure that notification button is switched on because that's when they let you know of special promotions they're having where they pay like, give you like free delivery or like bonus or double commission and things like that because it's been really helpful. Now, other things that I'm doing to help save money on groceries. One is I'm doing now a weekly grocery shop so every Sunday afternoon I sit down and look at my diary work out what nights we're home um, what healthy meals we need to make doing a lot of food planning and then creating the list like that um, and just buying what we need and also one other thing that I want to show you is during the week I like to sort of stay as organized as possible because that keeps my stress levels um, at bay and I have this whiteboard in my laundry area where I write down what I need to buy during the week so that I don't forget. So you can see here I need aluminum foils, more Tupperware containers, some light bulbs, butter, toothpaste. So that just helps me having to go backwards and forwards to the supermarket on a regular basis. Also other things that I'm trying to do is cut down on the expensive items. So for example, making my own Labna instead of buying delicious but expensive Meredith Valley goat's cheese. Shh, 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 hang on a second. In a second, in a second. Also, um, learning to make my own yogurt because we're spending a lot of money on yogurt, which really adds up, and also wasting a lot of plastic containers in, in buying yogurt all the time. Um, and another thing that um, someone messaged me through Instagram the other day is the washing machine. Now, apparently, we use way too much washing powder than we actually really need. When the washing machine, which I'll show you, gets um, lots of bubbles down the bottom, apparently. Oh, hi, hi Giuseppe. <laughs> There's just one big happy family here. Um, when the washing machine gets lots of bubbles in it, apparently it's a sign that you're using too much washing powder. You only apparently need a teaspoon. Now, I have quite sensitive skin, so I have to use the Omo Sensitive, which is quite expensive, but it's interesting. When you look at this, they actually recommend you use this much for a full load of washing. What this person said was you only really need a teaspoon. So I have tested this out and I've actually found the clothes come out just as clean with like, I think probably a fraction of the washing powder. So no, you cannot do that. No, stop. I'm trying to record something. I, but Rocco, I now have to start all over again. Okay. So you only really need a fraction of the washing powder and I'm thinking that will also help keep my grocery bills um, down and frugal. Frugal February is just such a different experience this time. I'm so much happier, there's no resentment or aggression and I'll share with you guys the key things that I think that I'm doing that are different this time that are making that difference. Um, as you guys know, my mantra, theme, anchor, motto for 2018, 19, 19, um, is less is better and so one of the key things that I wanted to look at was the way that I use my time more efficiently Particularly in going to the gym normally I go to the gym. I just do like a 45 minute workout 
Well, what I want to try and do is go to the gym less, but have longer and more intense workouts. So this morning I got to the gym, I went for a run, and then I did a 45 minute Pilates reformer class. Um, and I'm gonna slowly try as my fitness improves, build that up so I'm doing at least 60 minutes worth of exercise when I do go, so that I don't need to go as often and I use my time more efficiently. Also, um, I got a coffee and I didn't have my takeaway keep cup, um, so I feel really bad about that. I don't know if these, oh, it's made from plants, not oil, so that's a bit better. Um, I hope, I need to look into that. But it made me think, I was sort of, do I get a coffee or do I not? But I really wanted one and I haven't got one, the takeaway cup for a, a really long time. It made me realize we can't put pressure on ourselves to be perfect. We need to do the best we can do and do our bit where we can. If occasionally we need to get a takeaway coffee cup, but most of the time we normally have them a coffee in the cafe or have one at home, at least we're reducing our overall impact. And that's the whole thing. We're not trying to be like um, A plus students. We're just trying to all be mindful and responsible. And I think that's a really important thing to take away from um, you know zero waste and doing our bit for the environment. All right, it is the weekend and Rocco is with his dad, which helps make it frugal. Um, I have quite a lot of work to do this weekend, so that's gonna keep me inside and um, remove temptation to spend money. Also today, I have to go with Tom to the races for work to see clients. I also have to go to a birthday tomorrow for Tom's clients, and then I have to go to a work dinner for Tom with his staff. So. I'm not going to have any time to spend any money. So this is a great opportunity to distract myself with my with my work and also to do things with Tom um, on the weekend. So I don't think I'm going to be spending too much money. Also, in going to the races, I normally like to get dressed up and embrace the day. Um, I, being frugal February, and I think I do this anyway, um, I've applied my own spray tan, so no spray tan expenses. Of course, I'm gonna do my own hair and makeup. And I definitely did not buy any new dresses or accessories to wear today. Trust me, I was really tempted to because I was struggling to find something um, to wear. Now, on the note of saving money, I wanted to tutorial you about something I bought last year from doing Frugal February. Um, you guys recommended that I invest in a soda stream because I was spending so much money on bottled sparkling mineral water. And so I followed your advice and bought a soda stream. This has been fantastic and not just for saving money, but also for my zero waste passion because the glass bottles um, last a lot longer than the plastic ones and the gas actually lasts a lot longer in these as well. And the thing is a soda stream doesn't use any energy whatsoever. So there are multiple benefits of a soda stream, but I just wanted to share this with you because I listen to your advice just as you listen to my advice. And when I hear a good tip, I'm always keen to test it out. So please keep your feedback coming. It is Sunday morning and my um, expectations of having a really frugal weekend have completely blown up. Um, but not necessarily for a bad reason. I was doing really well. I think the only money I'd spent was um, that naughty $30 on chocolate and $10 on a coffee and a protein ball. Anyway, um, we were at the races and we were sitting with a group of friends. It'd been a really long day and not a particularly successful day. Um, and they, the boys decided to have a bet and the bet was $50, but no one had $50 cash except me, so I um, gave my $50 and we, we all lost the $50. Then um, we invited, Tom and I are big on having friends back to our place. We love entertaining at our home, it's something really important that we love doing. Anyway, we were gonna come back to our house for a um, drink before going out and grabbing a bite to eat. Anyway, when everyone got to our house, everyone was so exhausted and run down and just wanted to like, I guess, relax in the comfort of our home. Um, no one wanted to go to a restaurant, so I ended up ordering a whole pile of pizzas and pastas for everyone. So I have officially completely blown my weekend budget, but I'm okay with that because I am grateful for the fact that people feel comfortable enough to come to my home, enjoy themselves, relax, and then I can feed them pizzas and pasta. Perfect for a long weekend. Okay, so I'm going to let the um, February frugal rules bend to the side just for a little bit. Rocco has been asking for one of these Blade Runners um, ever since he saw it on his best friend. 
and normally I am strict with toys. Um, it's Christmas time, um, birthdays, and the occasional special occasion, but he's been so patient and so persistent, and I have said, fine, no problem. He's worn me down, to be honest. This is the problem with coming into these stores. There are so many cool things you discover that are really tempting to buy, that you wanna buy when you're here, when which you don't really need. Um, and we have fallen into this trap, so we've just found a new nice purple dog lead for Sophia. Technically hers did break the other day, I needed to buy a new one. And I've managed to convince myself that I need to buy this pink ceramic baking dish because we only have one and I know it's not enough to make lasagna tomorrow night. So somehow I'm finding a way to justify this, but I'm going to get out of here straight away before this gets any more, any worse. So I just picked up my dry cleaning, which I've been putting off for ages. I love dropping my stuff off at the dry cleaners. I hate picking it up. It was $53 for two items. Admittedly, one thing had to be um, stitched up again because I had split my dress um, after maybe eating too much food. But anyway, um, I'm a bit annoyed at myself because normally I'm organized and I turn up to dry cleaners with my own coat hangers so I wouldn't need to take their coat hangers and I would say no to the plastic bag which I think is really important but I just wasn't organized today and I took it and uh, anyway I can probably return the bag and the, the coat hangers myself. Now I would normally get angry and annoyed at myself about the dry cleaners but I'm trying to focus on the gratitude and appreciation. Appreciate that I, the fact that I have clothes and I have nice clothes that need to be dry cleaned. Appreciate that they did a great job in fixing it and cleaning my clothes. And um, I guess appreciation um, for and respect for taking care of my clothes as well. I will, I always do try and hand wash as much as possible because I, I find going to the dry cleaners an expensive exercise. But this is a, a great one for a lot of other people to try and reduce wastage, particularly around those bags and the coat hangers. So tonight I'm actually not feeling that well. I definitely don't feel like cooking and I certainly don't feel like cleaning up. So I'm going to share with you um, one of my best healthy um, meals where I completely cheat. Now these are Odyssey Lean meals. Um, they are incredibly healthy, they're well priced, they're great for when you're going through periods of time, say with work or with your studying where you're working long hours or you know, you're really time poor because um, they're incredibly healthy great portion control there's no preservatives flavings colorings it's completely natural and they are absolutely delicious tom's actually obsessed with these so tonight rocco really wants burritos and this is a great way of piling a whole pile of vegetables into rocco but i don't feel like cooking so i've got the um this is actually the mexican chili con carne i simply put this in the microwave and it's full of lentils um mints um cabbage, um, kidney beans, um, celery, there's so many different vegetables in here. And it's absolutely delicious. So what I will do is heat this up, put it on some tortilla wraps, then on top of that to really sort of make this meal enough for, for a few people, a few different meals, I'll then put a whole pile of avocados, shred raw zucchini, um, raw carrot, and then put a little bit of some sour cream and some cheese. And this makes a fantastic, healthy, dinner that Rocco loves, but also there's enough food by the time you like fatten up lots of additional vegetables to actually provide lunch for tomorrow. So this is a brilliant um, suggestion for people who are time poor, but also want to read, eat, eat, read, eat really healthy meals. So last night we have made cuffins. We made raspberry muffins. <laughs> oh, so we were making um, raspberry muffins, but I somehow got the uh, ingredients and recipe wrong and they were so sugary I decided just to embrace the fact that they tasted more like a, mu a cupcake so we turned the muffins into cupcakes so cupfins now this will hopefully no, save cupcakes. okay well cupcakes so we this will hopefully save some money and we're gonna take some um, to work today for my office so everyone will be able to embrace a little bit of frugalness and Rocco also has a play date this afternoon, um, so um, his friends will also get to have a coffin cupcake. No cupcake, just cupcake. Just cupcake. So I just wanted to show you the very frugal vegetable lasagna that I made tonight from that cookbook. And whilst Rocco and his play date friends did not approve of it, um, 
it was actually delicious and it's actually look how much it's made like we have eaten like that has fed myself three kids um, and um, look how much is also left as another dish um, so Tom is on his way home he can have a really filling dinner and there's definitely going to be a lot left over for lunch for me tomorrow and also for Tom tomorrow and I reckon maybe even some for dinner for myself tomorrow night because I know Rocco will not be eating this. I really had a bit of a meltdown from Rocco. <laughs>